What's up guys, it's me Colin, back with another video, and today we're going to be doing some more of the news and cool headline things. Everyone might remember a few years ago there was a dress that some people saw was blue, some saw it was gold. I saw it was gold, I think I remember, and that people went crazy over that, but you might have seen... It is absolutely everywhere. There's this thing called Yanny and Laurel. So there's this audio clip that's at a certain frequency. Some people hear Yanny, some people hear Laurel. Uh, the other day, I heard Yanny, and today when I just heard it a few minutes ago, I heard Laurel. They've had, like, the president, and all these famous people have been doing it, and it's like 50-50 almost. It's pretty crazy. I want you guys to comment down below, are you hashtag Team Yanny or hashtag Team Laurel? Okay, so now Krispy Kreme, one of the biggest donut chains in the country that I absolutely love personally myself and a lot of people love. Now, they come out with some new types of donuts and drinks and things, but they've never really come out with like a new glaze. They've only done it once before, it was earlier in the year, it is a lemon glaze. And as people put it, it sold out faster than a Drake concert. And now they have done a surprise for the summer and for one week only they've been doing blueberry glaze so it's like a pinkish color you'll see a picture up here and what's interesting is it's not the donut it's not like the frosting it's the actual glaze around the donut I would be really interested to try it and I want to know what you guys think comment down below do you think it'd be good I don't like blueberry personally I like blueberry donuts like the cake donuts but I want to see what you guys think. It lasts from May 21st to May 27th. You guys know I absolutely love Oreos so much. I love everything. I've tried so many Oreo products. Now this summer they're coming out with the Good Humor Bar. The strawberry one that you find at like gas stations and stuff. Pretty famous I would say overall. And now it is coming into an Oreo this summer. What's crazy about that is it's going to be a golden Oreo like the vanilla kind, and it's gonna have strawberry bits, and it's gonna have like a cream filling, it's like the ice cream, it's like a whipped cream filling, and I'm really excited to try that one. That sounds really good. Now there's another rumor that there's gonna be, there's gonna be another Oreo coming in late July. This is just a rumor, but they think it's gonna be coming in late July, and it's gonna be called Rocky Road Trip. It's gonna be chocolate and marshmallow Oreo, I think that one would be the best Oreo ever because I love chocolate, I love marshmallow, both of the things together with an Oreo. If they put in a chocolate Oreo, it would be perfect. Well, Fruit Loops fans, for the first time in 10 years, they're releasing a new flavor of Fruit Loops. There's this little star that they're going to be putting in, and it's this wild berry flavor. It's kind of interesting. Really, are they going to keep it forever? Is it just limited edition? We'll have to see. Now, all those robots, you know, that are zooming around nowadays, the little BB-8 that all the people have, all the kids and stuff, now Lego is taking their pitch at that. It is a Lego Batmobile, so you build up the Batmobile, and then there's an app that you control it with, and you can drive it around like an RC car. Now, what I'm worried about that is, is it going to break? First of all, like if it goes on a bump, is it going to break? And, I'm also interested is there gonna be like is there gonna be any suspension what I'm saying is if it goes over a bump is it just gonna like flip or something or is it going to be a full on like almost like an RC because I don't know how you would build that with Legos it's gonna come out August 1st 2018 and it's gonna be $160 that's gonna be interesting to see versus the little oh my goodness now you might be wondering is that staged? And no, that's not. Well, that's kind of creepy. Oh. What just happened? Well, now in LA, you can travel 16 people in a pod for $1 thanks to Elon Musk and the Boring Company. So if you don't know, what they do is they drill holes through the city. And then, pretty much, the, you go on this little pod with 16 people. It's almost like a little tiny subway. And then it zips, as like, really, really fast. It zips through to your next destination. You get off, 
this is like 380 to 300 feet underground, and you go back up. And then you go wherever you're going, to Starbucks or whatever. And next, to do that, he has to make sure that there's when there's an earthquake or something, that the whole thing does not really just fall apart and collapse and all the people inside get hurt or die. Now, to do that, he has these special bricks that he's selling for 10 cents a brick, and they are so strong, they're stronger than any other bricks on the market right now, and he's going to build, like, shelters with them and different things like that, and is going, they're, like, super, super strong. And finally, I would say almost anyone that's been on the internet in the last two, three months knows about Elon Musk's flamethrowers to raise money for his company. So he sold those with the famous Instagram video of him firing off the flamethrower. And now he's having trouble shipping them because he figured out that the propellant that makes the flames, now he can't ship because it's going to like explode and combust everywhere. So now he has to hand deliver them. All the employees and stuff have to hand deliver them to all the people that bought. That's going to be a lot of work. And for the gamers, myself included, there's now going to be Fortnite coming this summer for mobile on Android. Yes, Android is finally getting Fortnite this summer. It's going to be interesting to see that. Now, some other updates coming to Fortnite besides Android for mobile and Fortnite and stuff like that. They're also going to be doing cross-platform voice chat a lot easier. So for mobile, they're going to be doing voice chat because they know how important it is to be able to communicate with your friends and your partners and stuff to be able to win. Now that is one of the most important features of Fortnite in my opinion, and they think so too. So they are now adding voice chat to mobile very soon, and that is going to change everything. You'll be able to talk from your phone when you're out and about to someone on PS4, to someone on Xbox, to someone on PC. That's going to be crazy. And they're also going to have an on-screen thing where you can turn up the volume, turn it down, mute yourself, disconnect, all that stuff. Almost like in Discord, kind of. And then, last of all, and they're also going to be doing a lot of other improvements. They're going to be doing things like auto run, so you don't have, just have to keep, like I use an Xbox controller, so you just have to keep going forward, forward, forward. You just like will press a button, and it'll keep running for you. That's going to make everything a lot easier. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, remember to give a big thumbs up and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and check out my gaming channel, Colin TV Gaming. The link will be in the description below. See you guys later. Bye.